So the internet is abuzz with the fact that Sonic Unleashed has now been ported natively using the process of static recompilation. And this has all been done by the team called Unleashed Recompiled. And this team have developed tools to recompile the Xbox 360 game from the original PowerPC code and Xenos shaders into compatible C++ and HLSL code respectively. And the results of this recompilation project has been absolutely astounding on the Windows platform. But did you know that you can also play this on a Mac all thanks to the hard hard work of modders Squidbus and Isaac. And what they've done is that they've made a Mac port of this port and they've run the graphics API from Vulkan to Metal using Molten VK and the results are absolutely amazing. It's pretty straightforward. You're gonna need files from the Xbox 360 version of this game. And I'm gonna show you the entire process of how to get this game working on an Apple Silicon M series Mac. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to go to the GitHub action, which I'll leave a link to in the description. It comes from this Mac gaming thread on Reddit. The location of these files is temporary at the moment. It's not gonna be located on this GitHub action permanently. When it gets a full proper release, I'll update the link in the description. So anyway, you need to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of this GitHub page. And in order to click links, you need to be logged in. So make sure you're logged into a free GitHub account. And then we're gonna go ahead and download the ARM64 macOS release. So just click the download button after you've logged in and then go ahead and download the DMG. So once the file is fully downloaded, just go to your Finder Downloads folder, double click on the zip, and it's gonna extract the file here. So we're gonna move it to our Applications folder, and then we're gonna go ahead and double click on it. So because this GitHub action is not developer signed, then it's gonna give us an error message when we double click, but we have to double click this first. It's gonna say that it can't be opened because it can't be verified, just press done. And then we need to open this manually on macOS Sequoia. So the method to do this on macOS Sequoia is to go to the Apple logo system settings, then scroll down on the left to privacy and security, and then scroll down to the bottom. And then it'll say that we try to open this application, open anyway. So type in the login password for your Mac, and then Unleashed Recompiled will open. So here we can just go ahead and select a language and then click the next button. And that's saying that we need an Xbox 360 copy of Sonic Unleashed in order to proceed. So I can't show you how to acquire the files for this. On the GitHub page itself, it states that you can get this by getting a genuine copy of the game from an Xbox 360 hard drive and then copying the files to your computer. So because we're using digitally dumped files, we're gonna be using the add files option. So here we're gonna be using the Xbox 360 ISO of Sonic Unleashed. And we're also gonna add this update file as well. So just click add files again. Then we'll find our title update file. This is kind of what the update file should look like. Then we're gonna press next. Then we need to add all of the DLCs. So ideally you should do this. Again, click the add files option. If you have these as zip files, you need to make sure to expand all of them. And then you can add them individually. Just make sure to expand all the subfolders and then you can hold down command and select all the files and then click open. And then once all of those DLCs are selected, then you can press next. And then it's gonna go ahead and fully install onto your Mac. So just press the next button here. And then this might take a little bit of time. This entire process took me nearly three minutes. So just wait for that. And then we are complete. You can go ahead and press next. And then after a few splash screens, then this thing is gonna load up and you'll be in the main menu. So one thing to do is make sure that you go ahead and tweak your video settings, change the FPS cap to unlimited or cap it to refresh rate of your screen. And you can add some enhancements you can upscale the image, you can downscale as well. You can even do stuff like add Xbox color correction, add motion blur, change the UI alignment so it's better on ultra wide screens. One cool thing is that you can change the controller icons between Xbox and PlayStation, or it can auto detect it. Just make sure to pair up your controller on macOS under Bluetooth, and then the correct controller icons will appear in game. So first thing to say is that the performance on the base M1 MacBook Air with only eight gigabytes of RAM and eight GPU cores is absolutely phenomenal. This is is far better than trying to run this on a console emulator like RPCS3 or Xenia. There's barely any kind of hitching or stuttering and this is despite the fact that we're running through Molten VK, which is translating the Vulkan graphics API into Apple's Metal. Now this port of the game is running natively on the Mac, so it's really taking advantage of the ARM64 chip and it's unhindered by, say, having to emulate an entire Xbox 360 architecture in the background. The performance is really good because the code is basically static and also pretty much supports any aspect ratio. This is the standard 16 by 10 Retina Display 1600p, which manages to work very close to 60 FPS. And the slower paced Werehog levels also work really well too. Here we're getting over 70 or 80 FPS 
FPS just in these combat sections and we're barely using over one gigabyte of system memory which is absolutely phenomenal. So anyway it's great to see that Sonic Unleashed and the Unleashed Recomp project has worked out so well on the Mac at this very early stage. Big thanks to the Unleashed Recomp team as well as developers Squidburst and Isaac for making this all possible. When this officially gets released for macOS I'll be updating the link in the description. Anyway let me know in the comments what you think of this project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.